Hello everyone, welcome to PSLE Science Wednesdays where every Wednesday I try to do a PSLE science paper, particularly the structured questions. PSLE science, I can't really find any heuristics or any special um, patterns, you know, but uh, I think it's a lot of uh, imagination, a lot of uh, uh, exposure to different types of questions and therefore from there you will be able to know exactly what to do okay. so this is our very first question this is from the PSLE booklet once again this is the book that I use all the time okay well, you can see this right this is the book you can buy from any popular bookshop okay it's available so let's take a look so the first one um, this is a the diagram shows this uh, insect pea and flower cube. So insect pea feeds on bees and butterflies and is often found sitting on flower cube. So I explain how looking like parts of flower cube is an advantage to insect pea. Now uh, this really does look a little bit like flower cube. Okay, so this question is about adaptation and um, actually it's more of uh, this this uh, camouflage. Okay. So looking like flower cube will be an advantage for insect pea because he will be able to camouflage and his predators okay, will not be able to find out or will not be able to find it and therefore he will be able to escape and survive. Okay, So that is how looking like parts of flower cube is an advantage to insect pea. Okay, so we're just going to write it down. Uh, so explain how insect pea sitting on flower cube is a disadvantage to flower cube. Ah, okay. Now why is it bad? Because uh, let let's try to explain. Now what do flowers do? They need insects to come and pollinate, right? So if the insect doesn't come to pollinate the flower, uh, that means the insect will not. I mean the flower will not be able to. Reproduce because we need the pollen grains to travel from one flower to another. Now imagine there's this insect pea over there. Every time a bee comes by or a you know butterfly comes by, and then it's, instead of getting a flower, it gets a insect pea. Okay, uh, it's gonna scare the insect, the, the 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 butterfly away. Okay, insect pea is gonna scare the butterfly away. And when that happens, the flower cube will not be able to pollinate and therefore cannot reproduce. Okay. That's how it works. Uh, we're going to look at the next question. So this next question is about the polar bear. Okay, I'm just going to try and go through questions with, with some diagrams, right? So I can see what's going on. I mean, we can animate stuff. Okay, so polar bears are mammals. They swim in the sea to look for food. After some time, they need to get out of water to breathe and rest on the ice before entering the water again. So uh, we see ice on the surface. Some cute little fish in the ice. Okay, see so cute little fish here and the polar bear is right here. So give a reason why polar bears cannot breathe underwater. Um, okay, so they can't breathe underwater because they do not have gills. Uh, so in P6 science, we decided that only you know animals with gills like fish can breathe underwater. And polar bears have lungs, so they cannot breathe underwater clearly. Okay, so unless they have gills, then they can breathe underwater. So the reason is because they do not have gills to enable them to breathe underwater. What are the two forces acting on the polar bear as it walks on the ice? Now, um, there are two of them, right? One is the gravitational force that is going downwards and then there is friction. Friction, because it's walking on ice, right? So in terms of the, um, you know, it's walking on ice, right? As long as there's movement, there's going to be friction. Next, due to global warming, the ice on the surface decreases in size as shown. Uh, so if it's cold, the ice is big. If it's warm, the ice is small. Uh, as you can see over here. So based on inference, suggests how global affects the survival of polar bear. Okay, so when global warming occurs, okay, so you need to understand what's global warming. Yes, when the temperature goes up. So temperature goes up means that the ice will become from change from big to small like that. All right. So polar bears. Uh, what happened to the to the to the ice here? Right. It's going to decrease. So there's going to be less ice. Now, if there's less ice, uh, first of all the environment okay that the polar bear is in is going to be destroyed okay so there's going to be more water uh, there will be less land for the polar bear uh, well if there's less land that means the polar bear will probably have to go find food or find a habitat somewhere else okay so the house 
is destroyed. There's no house where to stay. And therefore, polar bears are not going to survive. They got to learn how to swim. If not, you know, they're going to be in the water and they don't have gills, remember? So because they don't have gills, they cannot survive. They'll die. Okay, next. Okay, I'm going to find those with pictures. Okay, Mary has a pot of water with a layer of oil as shown. Based on what you can observe, state a physical property of oil. So the physical property of oil, first thing comes to my mind is density because it's floating on top of water. Can you see it's floating? Yeah, it's floating on top of water. So what is freezing? Freezing is the changing from liquid to solid state. What can you tell about the melting point of oil? Um, put the spot in the refrigerator which is at a temperature of 4. After a few hours, the oil froze and very removed it easily from the water. Ah, the oil froze. Okay, so the melting point of oil is higher than water. Okay, because the melting point of water is 0 degrees Celsius, but oil freeze at 4, around 4 degrees Celsius. Okay, and Mary removed it easily from water, that means she was able to pick it up, okay, to take it out of the water. Next. Okay, so we got this uh, Chi Ming. Very interesting name to use, okay? If you are in MOU, you know what I mean. So Chi Ming set up the apparatus below to investigate how his toy car can move on its own along a plastic track from A down to B up to C before leaving at D. C is a fixed height above B. So C is here. Alright, so when Zhi Ming released the car, it moved past B but was not able to reach C. I explain why. Now, it has got to do with energy. So, when the toy car is at this point of time, at, at this part of the, um, uh, the, 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 the whole setup, it possess gravitational potential energy. So, but the gravitational potential energy is not enough to reach this height. Why? Because as it is moving downwards, it loses the gravitational potential energy to, uh, uh, I mean, it is converted to kinetic energy and then a lot of it is being lost. So, so it can probably come up to here, right? But it cannot go past that because it needs more energy. So the first one is not able to reach C because there's not enough uh, potential energy to uh, convert it to kinetic energy so that it can reach C. So, without using different apparatus and additional materials, I suggest two ways to help the car recede. So, number one, it can be higher. Okay, give it more gravitational potential energy, put it higher. Or, make this one lower. Don't put oil, okay? Zooming, don't put oil. Huh? Next, state the main form of energy that car C will have at C. Uh, the main form of energy here would be gravitational potential energy. Why? Because it's high up. Okay, that's uh, above the ground. Next one. Well done, Jimmy. Okay, next. Leela plays a magnet on top of a balance as shown. What object? Okay, she brought object echoes. She brought object echoes to the magnet as shown in diagram 2. Object A go to magnet. Ah, okay, and then we observe at first it's 60 gram, then after that it became 68 gram. That means there's an increase in the weight. Now, the only way for the weight to increase is because there's repulsion here. That means object A is repelling the magnet. So, if object A can repel the magnet, you need to know that it has to be A. Yes. Next, explain why the reading increased in diagram 2. So, the reading increased because there's a repulsion force, there's a force pushing the magnet down, so therefore this increased, okay, therefore this increased, so there is a force pushing it down. Next, now I'm not going to waste time typing, right, so I'll just go through as fast as possible. Uh, so Leela replaced object A with an iron bar of the same size and set up uh, so aeroplane every day we get aeroplanes flying right here so explain your answer stay available uh, with stay which reading PQRST is possible on the uh, iron bar okay now you replace object A with an iron bar so it becomes a magnetic object and therefore it will attract the 
uh, it be attracted to the magnet and because it's attracted to the magnet it's going to lift up some pu- uh, instead of pushing it's going to be pulling right so it's going to pull it's going to pull up pull up so when it pulls up it's going to be less than 60 right answer is going to be 54 grams so the reason is because it's attracted upwards still a variable that Lila must keep concerned when comparing object A and the iron bar uh, right. Oh, okay. Probably the size has to be the same. You know, the distance uh, should be the same as well, right? The distance here should be the same, and the size of object A should be the same. So that is a uh, good experiment. Next. Okay. So a glass has a thin wall and a thick bottom. Um, what's the physical property of the thick bottom glass it prevents it from breaking? So if something doesn't break, that means it's strong. Okay, next. Strong, so it has strength, right? Next. Now, uh, we want to remove this glass A and glass B. So what we do, uh, it's very simple. You can either put ice inside here or you heat the bottom. Now, why do you put ice here? Because when you put ice into A, A will contract, become smaller. The B will remain the same size and then you quickly put it out. Or you can heat glass B. When you heat glass B, B becomes bigger. And then when it becomes bigger, you can take B out. Ta-da. Next. Uh, okay, so we already explained how it works. Okay, last one with pictures. So Alice and Beatrice were traveling in an air conditioned car. Both were wearing the same type of spectacles. Alice put her hands. Now they, they, they do look like twins. Uh. Yeah, I think they're twins, right? So Alice put her hands over her spectacles, but Beatrice did not. That's how it looks like, okay? Uh, when they stepped out the car, there's less fogging on Alice's spectacles than Beatrice has shown. Why there is less fogging on Alice's spectacle? First, the answer has got nothing to do with the length of the hair, okay? It has got to do with the fact that Alice had her hand on her spectacles throughout the entire journey, okay? Now, this is condensation, okay? There's condensation here. No condensation. So, uh, we're gonna. So what happens is that when Alice put her hand over her spectacles throughout the entire journey, the spectacles is warmer than Beatrice's spectacle. So when that happens, um, uh, so so Alice's spectacle is warmer than Beatrice's spectacle. So when they step out of the car. Warm air will come into contact with the cooler surface of Beatrice's spectacle and condense. Whereas the warm water vapor, sorry, warm water vapor, right, is going to come to the cold, cooler surface of Beatrice's spectacle and it's going to condense. Whereas on Alice's spectacle, which has got higher temperature than Beatrice's spectacle, is not going to condense so much, or rather there is less condensation because the warm water vapor does not lose heat. Over here, the warm water vapor lose heat. Alright, so we get condensation and Beatrice has got a foot spectacle. Why does spectacles begin clear after some time? Ah, because the uh, spectacle gain heat. Okay, Beatrice's spectacle gain heat after some time because she's no longer in the aircon and therefore no more condensation. And that's the end of the paper. Okay, it's 11 minutes. Okay, so I'm just going through a few uh, those that I find quite interesting. You know, change of format here. Hope you like it. Okay, so continue to uh, support our channel. Uh, look at our YouTube videos. Okay, uh, and uh, as, as, as I mentioned in the math uh, video, what we have done is we are putting everything into these uh, learning units. Okay, so you can access them when you join the group somewhere right we're gonna put them somewhere so uh, this is mr. Tang from ace chorus hope to see you soon